Yes, it's a bench made, but it's also, gasp, a good value. Find out why. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, POV Knives coming at you with another video and this is the Benchfade Knives tagged out in S45 VN steel G10 handles and thick orange, I assume hunting accents. Why am I bringing you this knife? Well, this knife is, I just looked it up, currently $270 on Knife Center, and it is worth every penny. Which, as many of you know, Benchmade's prices, and sometimes their quality, have not been as good as they should be. But this one, this one is. This would make a spectacular one and only EDC knife. Let me tell you why. First off, the axis lock is great. You can tell that Benchmade definitely feels a little challenged since they lost their patent and other people are making axis locks. Microtech makes great ones. They call it the Ram lock. But this one, no blade play whatsoever. Great fall shut action. Clicky, fidgety, springs aren't breaking, which many of you have probably experienced blade centered perfectly, great materials, premium steel, which you very rarely see on Benchmades. And the grind on this is just so thin. This thing slices like a beast. It'll cut through anything. It takes cardboard and eats its lunch and beats it up and leaves it on the playground. It is a great EDC knife. Sharpening choil, plenty of blade, great grip, hard use, light use, everyday carry. It does it all. This is a great knife. Deep carry pocket clip. The look is great. The lanyard hole looks good. It really is a great knife from Benchmade. And frankly, anything that they do to expand on the idea of a bug out and make it for other uses, I think just suits them great. The bug out was really a landmark model for them and bringing it into the hunting line, they just knocked it out of the park. But I think a lot of people discount the hunting line. We don't all hunt, we're not all cutting into animal carcasses and breaking down deer and stuff like that. But a lot of things that make a hunting blade great, like having a pokey pokey, having a very thin blade, having a lot of belly, having a lot of blade, things that make a great hunting knife really do make a great EDC knife as well. And I think that that is worth mentioning and taking note of. This is a great blade. Let's get you some size comparisons in addition to our, our regular bug out. We'll break out the other mensch made that we use regularly, the Osborne, also a great EDC blade, and the Para 3. Take a look, it fits right into that EDC category. On the larger end, lots of blade, great belly. There's really nothing not to like, and the price is right, it really is. I think 270 for this knife all day long. I guarantee you, you'll see a sale, just like any Benchmade. And if just, just so you guys know, a little tip if you're shopping around, just gotta play with the Osborne, I love the Osborne. If you're shopping on a site like GP Knives or any of the sites that carry Benchmade, if they drop the price, they're technically not allowed to have sales, so they'll have something that says, call for price and they'll have a number, click that, add it to your cart and they'll let you see the price. And that means the price is very competitive. It means they're having a sale without telling Benchmade that they're having a sale. If I see that, that's when I pick up my Benchmades. That and REI coupons are great for Benchmades. Those 20% off coupons, REI on their website and sometimes in store, but mostly on the website, REI carries those knives. You can get pretty much anything you want with your coupon. So let me know what you guys think. Are you gonna pick up one of these hunting line blades for your EDC? Do you still think it's overpriced? Someone out there does. Quick uh, wristwatch check. I'm wearing my Tudor today, my Black Bay Pro GMT. I know you guys are asking for more watch content. Again, I'm looking for your feedback. Let me know if that's something you wanna see more of or if you just want knives. But either way, I'll see you guys in the next video.